initiating moisture. Welcome to the Moist Meter. Today we're looking at Season 2 of ReZero. Happy to say this shit absolutely banged. I don't think there was even a single episode that wasn't good in the season. There was highs and pretty much no lows that I can recall off the top of my head. In Subaru, I mean, the dude is like what every Redditor wishes they were. Like, he is a Redditor's wet dream. In this season, every fucking female character he talks to falls in love with him. And falling in love is an understatement. Some characters are just throw away everything they ever believed in for hundreds of years because Subaru is so fucking cool and they want the chance of being like a waifu to Subaru. It's, it's crazy. I mean, this is like Super Seducer 3, the anime character. Shit is wild. And it all, in the context of the show, it's not like he's just, like, cheating. He's not using, you know, game facts cheat codes. Like, it doesn't feel unearned or that it comes out of nowhere or it's just, like, some convenient plot device that he's an irresistible Adonis. At it, it, no point does it feel like it's silly or out of place because it's really well done where these characters bond throughout so many episodes across multiple timelines for those that don't know and i'm sure if you're watching this you already fucking know what ReZero is about or have already seen it and just want to make sure that i also agree the show is great but the show basically follows subaru who has the ability to respawn he's pretty much a video game character he dies he gets checkpoints so he respawns there so he gets to try different ways of progressing in this world that's the easiest way of breaking it down obviously it's not like a video game or anything but that's the easiest way to explain it and Subaru, when he dies, he starts over from this checkpoint, and he builds more relationships. He's constantly evolving these relationships with the characters around him, so you see so many different sides of these characters, and you see them growing together. Now, to those characters, they don't get that, because they only know Subaru in whatever timeline he progresses in without dying, but to the audience, you really get to see these things, and it all really it weighs on you. It really works super well. So in this season when he is winning over so many characters that for fucking 20 episodes, 30 episodes he's been building these relationships, it's a really nice payoff that doesn't seem like it's unearned or out of place, so it works really well. ReZero is just one of those rare shows that is extremely hyped and lives up to the hype for the majority of people that watch it. Even the most die-hard anime snobs who wouldn't watch an anime with more than 10 people that have ever even heard of it can appreciate ReZero and they constantly jerk off about ReZero. Despite the hype and despite trying to be the hardest anime hipsters, you can't help but like the show if you watch it. It is just a really good and interesting show. It's one that I can't really talk about too deeply without spoilers, which was also the problem I had when I reviewed it five months ago after part one. But now that part two wrapped up, I wanted to get into it a little bit deeper. One of the focal points of the season was conquering the past in the trials that Amelia goes through. She has to face her past. And that was really cool to see to learn a lot more about this character. And then she grows from it and becomes a very strong character moving forward who's completely different from the Amelia we've seen for the last 30 whatever episodes like it, she is completely changed now and evolved and is a much better character i already liked her before and i like her even more now after season two part two uh, you also explore a lot of roswell's past which tells you more about who he actually is what his real goals are and shit like that i'm trying my best not to spoil things again but you learn so much about these characters through their past which was a big part of this season you learn a lot, and I really appreciated that they fleshed out the characters even more. Even though they were already very deep characters, they went even fucking deeper. Full-blown colonoscopy on these characters. I really feel like I know the ins and outs of most of them now. Uh, it's, it's really, it's just such a fucking good season. There's also great action as well. Uh, this will be a minor spoiler. There's an attack on the mansion, and Subaru has to figure out how to both save the sanctuary and the mansion. And the fight at the mansion is fucking nuts. There's so many moving parts that you got fucking blood, guts, bowels, and titties flying all over the place. Uh, vampires. I mean, there's a lot going on. Like, even if you're just there for the action, which ReZero isn't really known for, like, it's over-the-top action, but there is good action in it. If Even if you just want action, you do get it in the season. You get some really good shit, especially with the mansion content. And even outside of that, there's still other fights. Uh, it's a very interesting fight in the Sanctuary really hard to talk about these without spoilers but i'm trying anyway it's just good it's good all around this is just as good as every other season of re-zero if not even a little better at points re-zero season two part two the whole season fucking great 
plugging this into the moist meter, it's another 95%. This show is holding the quality. It's holding the great writing. It is just an absolute banger. The show slaps hard as fuck. Highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, that's about it.